the movie Ambulance. I wanted to see Ambulance? Michael Bay's Ambulance so bad from the minute I saw the trailer. Look at how look at how serious all these people's faces are. Look at how much they've got on their minds. And you've got police cars, you got an ambulance, you have helicopters, you got a cityscape. Oh, and look at the top, the tagline. It was supposed to be a simple heist. I mean, this sounds right up my alley. This is basically like, hey, Michael Bay, we don't really have a script, but would you just like to do all the things that you do in movies? And Michael Bay was like, yeah, can I get Jake Gyllenhaal? That's what the movie looked like, and I wanted to confirm it. You know, it does say that there is a person who wrote the screenplay to this movie, and based solely on the trailer and the poster, I assumed there was no screenplay. That it was just storyboarded, and then Michael Bay went out and did his thing. Just wing it. Just wing it. But luckily, it didn't take long. Uh, Ambulance uh, ended up on Peacock. I already, you know, I'm already subscribed to Peacock. I got the ad free version. Oh, so uh, yeah. Does that come? Does that come with uh, the VIP perks of being on Peacock? You get the you get the ad free. No, I pay for the ad free. No, I, yeah, no, I, I wish <laughs> I wish I could tell you that was one of the perks. No, the folks at the bump didn't give me any passwords. No, I I was trying to get Ryan Popola's password. He wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> but but I saw it was there, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. We're finally, we're going to bite the bullet. And we're going to do this because I got to know. And let me tell you something. First of all, I, ch- I was like, this probably won't take long. I checked the runtime. Two hours and 16 minutes. A hundred out of here. 36 Get minutes. Out. I go, no, you can't. There must be more to the movie than that, right? So the plot of the movie is that uh, a veteran, somebody who's just back from I would assume Afghanistan. Vietnam. But no, it wasn't a Vietnam vet. He was a younger man. He was trying to, he was coming home. He has a young family. He's got a wife. He's got a baby. And he can't get the insurance money he needs for the experimental treatment that his wife is looking for. His wife needs experimental treatment for her ailment. And it's going to cost him 231 thousand dollars and i tell you hot dog this guy can't even get an operator on the phone from the insurance company the way they treat him and he says uh i i mean it, it's a point of embarrassment you know you don't want to bring it up it's like the you know if you're like a famous guy like me you know you don't want to you don't want to get to the place where you go do you know who i am but sometimes you got to pull it out you know a lot of times i have pulled it out do you know who i am and they go no and then i tell yeah, them to me all the time Right. You pull up a thumbnail. I'm hot dog. You might have seen me on Peacock. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I get it. I get it. you got to do it sometimes. And that's what his, the, the veteran's name is. Will Sharp. Will Sharp. And he, he goes, I, I've just, I fought for this country. I, you know, and it's like, why don't we treat our veterans? But he can't. And so he's got to go to his uh, he's got to go to his adopted brother, Jake Gyllenhaal. See these two. Two gentlemen on the screen right here. Mm-hmm. Different ethnicities, still brothers. That's a little lesson. I bet you looked at that and said, well, I'll tell you, those two aren't family. They are your racist for thinking that. They're adopted yeah. brothers. You didn't see adopted brothers, hot dog. And that does. A brother from a different mother? Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. We don't meet their mothers. But yes, one can assume that they are indeed brothers from different mothers, but not in the colloquial sense. Like, oh, you're my brother from a different mother. No, literally, we have paperwork. We (laughs) grew up together. We're actually brothers. So he goes to his adopted brother and Jake Gyllenhaal, and he's like, really, he's looking for a loan. You know, he's just trying to get the 231K to get his wife this operation. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal goes, well, (laughs) what if I could get you just one more job? (laughs) And you're like, already. And oh, by the way, all this that I'm setting up for you, First five minutes. First five wow. minutes. We've already got the, but I fought for this country. Like, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, he's having trouble paying for his wife's operation. And a lot of movies would leave it up to you, the audience, to go like, you know, I didn't even think of this, but he fought for our country. Once I analyzed it, I realized, like, you know, we really should be treating these people better. No, 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 no. In a movie like this, in the first two minutes, he flat out says, 
I am a veteran. I fought for this country. I'm having difficulty getting medical insurance. This is bad. And you go, got it. Okay, understood. What else What else can we pile on to make him uh, get some sympathy from us? Well, what if I told you that he, he can't, he's plans. not, he's not going to give him the loan. He's got one more job though. One more job. And then we're, then we're out. And this guy, it's like, you know, of all the, look, we're going to watch him do a bad thing, but just so you know, he's a good guy. Like they spend the whole movie hammering it home. Just so you know, he's a good guy. He's just doing a bad a, thing. I'm not a bad man. I just got to do bad things sometimes. There's literally a scene in the movie where he goes, we're the bad guys. And Jake Gyllenhaal goes, we're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> yes, yes. You know how they say like some movies are, are an escape from reality? Uh-huh. Like if you spend like one, this is a turn your brain off and then pick it up because it's melted after type of enjoyment. This is the, it's fast food. It's, you know, no, no critiquing allowed. That would never happen because get out. It doesn't even, <laughs> doesn't even sound like it's fast food. It sounds like it's like it's just spoons fed mush. You know what it is? It's uh, it's the food from the 7-Eleven. Okay. It's, it's like the taquitos that are rolling that have probably been there, you know, all day or probably two weeks at this point. And you go like if you buy food at 7-Eleven, right, and you get a meal, I'm going to get my meal at the 7-Eleven. And then you go, this food is disgusting. I'm like, you're complaining? You bought your food at the 7-Eleven. It's not yeah, five-star cuisine. Like this, yeah, this is, it's calories. It's it's calories. That's it. It's sustenance. That's all, <laughs> right? So the idea that like, and I feel like you do have to contextualize things sometimes. Now, what it makes up for in that, what, what it loses in that it makes up for in big chases and giant explosions. Because let me tell you something. Oh, it's a Bi Michael Bay movie. Not only is there one ambulance, there's like half a dozen ambulances. There's a oh. uh, yeah. At oh, one, they, they undersold that shit. Huh? Uh, at one point, in order to avoid the police, they get a whole fleet of ambulances. So the police get confused as to which ambulance is which. <laughs> it's so you, you you think Michael Bay was like, we're gonna under deliver and no, under promise over over deliver over deliver because it says ambulance, not ambulances. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So I would have seen that. I'm like, holy shit! There's more than one. So he goes, uh, we got this one more job, but you're going to make millions of dollars, not just 231000 And the guy goes, yeah, okay, all right, we'll do it. And it's real quick. I mean, within 28 minutes, I think I clocked it as we're at the heist and almost done with the heist. And it's two hours and 16 minutes. This easily, easily, we could have put a bow on this. Honestly, I would say 90, but probably an hour 15. We could have done a hot 75 minutes on this movie and I think gotten just as much out of it. You, uh, this could have been a 30 minute TV episode. Well, there's that. It, With breaks. There is that show, uh, uh, 911 on Fox. It's like that. You know, yeah, it's, it's an hour. That. It's an hour. Now, that show's great too. I love that show. I think it's great. So, At some point, as a veteran, as Jake Gyllenhaal, are you. Are you in the money business or are you in the ambulance business? <laughs> no, he doesn't ask him. <laughs> but Michael Bay is listening to this right now going, shit, that's, that's a good great. Line. That's great. <laughs> yeah, no, but there is a point where, uh, uh, you know, all the all the bank robbers are getting on the bank elevator, you know, and they've got their like bank robber masks on and stuff covering their face. And there's real dramatic, dramatic music. Boom, 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 boom. And the elevator door starts to close. And then an old lady's cane stops the door from closing. And this old lady with a COVID mask comes on. And it's like this wacky, like these bank robbers just look at each other and they go, eh? That's a, that's a, that was there for the laugh. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, little, yeah. Ha -ha. Plenty of stuff there for the lulls. Um, so yeah, they go and uh, what, what had happened was uh, we meet the EMTs and it really is great. We spend a little time with the EMTs. We spend a little time with the police. We spend a little time with the robbers and we watch how their worlds that. intertwine together that maybe we're all far more connected than we ever, ever realized. It really is sensational. It's incredible the way this stuff happens. Um, they, uh, uh, they 
end up in the ambulance because they go in like a UPS, like a delivery type truck. But that truck ends up becoming not usable because it gets stopped by the cops. And on their way out, there's like a guy in there who's kind of there. He's like got a brightly colored jacket on and, 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 and is stealing jewelry from safety deposit boxes instead of just cash. It's like, hey, what are you doing, you wacko? You know, such a old school heist. Yeah. He ends up like leaving, he's shooting, g -g 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 and the, the guy who's driving the getaway truck goes, oh no, runs him over by mistake, basically cuts him in half. It gets real gory at points. It gets real, real gory, and you know I like that. Yeah. You can pretty much, you could fast forward through the whole middle part of the movie. Like, there's a probably a solid 50 minutes that you can, you know, you, 50 minutes of you, padding? Yeah, you could probably skip about 50 and not actually have trouble with anything. Anyone ever tells me, you watch this. Oh, by the way, you could probably skip an hour of it <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> I'm saying you could. You might not want to. You could. You know, at one point, luckily, so like, you know, they're driving in the ambulance. They're getting away from the cops. The cops are chasing them. The, the brother... I think he either owns or works for this like uh, auto body shop. And you know who the guy is who helps him customize cars? Who that? Wale. Wale? Let me tell you something. Wale is probably the best actor in the movie. Wale, I think Wale does a better do job than Jake Gyllenhaal. Wale's fantastic in this movie. I thought he was just in for a quick cameo working at the front of the store in the beginning of the movie. But oh no. Have you ever heard like the uh, loaded gun theory? that if you show a loaded gun in uh, the beginning of a movie, that sometime before the end, somebody is going to shoot that gun. You know, the loaded isn't gun. That some, isn't that called something else, like Chekhov something? Maybe. You can look it up if you want. There might, there might be a more official title for it. But that also, that's actually uh, now being reworked as the Wale theory. That if Wale pops up in a random cameo towards the beginning of this movie, you best believe that we have not seen the last of Wale in this film. Because, oh, it, he, go ahead. Something. Yo, up, oh, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, they realize, like, everybody's after this ambulance, right? So what they do to, to, to distract the cops, and so the cops don't chase their ambulances, they get a bunch of dummy ambulances that are going to leave at the same time, and then Wale comes, and he paints the real ambulance green. But it's not a good job. It's very like, you know, last minute rush. It's, you know, it's one coat. It's awful. But Wale is there painting it green. Then Wale drives one of the ambulances to distract police. And when the police pull him over and they get him out of the car, they're like, why are you in the ambulance? And Wale is like, I'm having an episode, man. I don't know what's going on. And he's great. He's hilarious. He's one of my favorite parts of this movie. And I love this movie. So Wale... This is his Oscar uh, Oscar moment here, you're I'm gonna, telling me? I'm going to tell you right now, if the movie Crash and the movie Green Book both won Best Picture, there's no reason Ambulance can't be in the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Just skip the hour in the middle and you'll be set. Are you, I'm not saying you should skip the hour in the middle. I'm saying you can. I'm saying like if you're like two hours and 16 minutes, I got, you know an hour 20 before I have to go out. I'll go, okay, well, just skip around. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Watch what it. What if I went, what if I went, Sam, I, I want to watch this, but I only got 20 minutes. I mean. I just got 20 minutes. You could do it in 20. You could, I mean, you get it. You don't, <laughs> here's the thing. You don't need to watch the end. You don't, like, okay. there's no shock as to what, is going to happen in the end. Like, in the end, Jake Gyllenhaal makes it all the way through the movie, but he doesn't quite survive because he's a bad guy. You know, he's a bank robber. He's not a bad guy. He just has to do he's bad He's just things. a guy who's trying to go home. And, you know, the EMT who's stuck in the ambulance the whole time is the hero of the day. The cop that's with them survives. And Will Sharp, who... uh I mean, he participated in this whole thing. He was firing the gun and everything, but they shot a cop in the beginning of the heist and he works very hard to get him back, gives his blood to give to the cop because the cop is losing blood. So at the end of the movie, I mean, he gets all the redemption. 
Like every every way that you've ever seen a character get redemption in an action movie, all of it goes to him. He's the catalyst of this whole thing. He is. He is. But he yeah. get yeah, but he gets all the redemption, you know? Like he's laying there. He mouths, he looks at his wife. His wife is looking down at him going, not this way, not this way. And he mouths to her, I'm sorry. And she mouths back, I love you. And it's just like, oh, good. So they're good. And then at the very end, the very end, the cop wakes up and it's like, Will Sharp is fucked, right? That's what you're thinking because he did all this. And then he's talking to one of the investigators and he points to a picture of Will Sharp and he goes, he's the one that saved my life. And you're like, oh, okay. all right, so, well, so we'll be, drop all charges. Well, <laughs> that's how that works. As a reward, Will Sharp, here is $231,000. If you need it for your wife's surgery, go ahead and use it. You Does know, he I, keep the money? No, he doesn't get to keep the money. He doesn't get so to keep the money. Does his wife money. die? No, his wife is his wife's fine. Maybe maybe I missed a part where she got the surgery or something, but I don't think so because his yeah. his wife is totally fine at the end. I I'm hopefully she does get the surgery at some point, but no, his wife was fine. Um, in the middle part, which you could skip because it's like I mean, there's so I'm many. Not. It's like you know how usually a movie goes like you know boom, and then it goes there's the arc here, and then boom, there's like multiple arcs in this thing, like. They didn't. Can't they, like, can they ever make a movie that doesn't have like a, a a shitty pee break in the middle of it, or that's twenty minutes long, thirty minutes long? Well, there's this like middle story where Jake Gyllenhaal is like, "Oh, I know how we'll get away from the cops. Let me call my dad's old gang friends, and I'll get his gang friends to help us." But unfortunately, hey, gangsters, right? Unfortunately, Poppy sends you know his gang out there, but Poppy's son gets killed poppy's son dies and then now will sharp and jake gyllenhaal are in trouble with the gang not only do they have all this cash but after the gang helps them it's like you know the son died and everything so now they've got this whole like mini movie inside the movie where it's jake gyllenhaal and will sharp and they have to shoot their way out of a warehouse of a full gang not just a couple Like How they massacred my boy. Well, yeah. Well, he's Poppy, so it's like a Hispanic guy. Oh, Beto. You know, like, you know. But they do end up getting out of the warehouse, which in the warehouse is the whole gang. But they... A whole gang's in the warehouse. We're just chilling in the warehouse. Most, I mean, well, probably, no, most of the gang. Some of the gang got killed helping... Will and Jake Gyllenhaal, but the other members of the gang are in the warehouse and J- Jake Gyllenhaal and Will are able to shoot their way out of the, they beat the gang is what I'm saying. They. I'm going to tell you, Sam, this sounds like a made for Peacock movie. It was in theaters. It had a theatrical release. Yeah. And it went straight, <laughs> to, went straight to Peacock afterwards. Look, do you like shootouts? Yeah. Car chases. Yeah. Jumping ambulances. One or more. Multiple. Yeah. Helicopters. Sure. Heists. I love it. Bank robberies. Yeah, you could throw that in there. Gang fighting. I fucking love that. Spanish. Love love, Spanish gang fighting. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, Love story. Oh, you know, I'm a sap. (laughs) Yeah. Redemption. I can get behind that. Ambulance is the movie for you then. Fuck. It's got it all. It's amazing how a movie can have it all and literally nothing. That's ambulance. (laughs) Ambulance. (laughs) Ambulance has every. It's like uh, it's like if you saw a cake with the most beautiful icing and all the sprinkles and everything in the world. And you went, what kind of cake is there? And then they went, oh, there's nothing under the icing. (laughs) There, There is no cake. (laughs) 